Hi guys, and welcome back to our FIFA 22 Sunderland Road to Glory career mode. So, in this episode, we have a few games to get through. We're, of course, going to get through the month of September, playing the games against uh, Huddersfield and Blackburn. We then have Southampton, we have Borough, and then we'll probably end the episode with a game against Cardiff as well, because then we can round off uh, October in the following episode. But the first game we are going to be playing is against Huddersfield. I might watch the game against Blackburn, play the game against Southampton, play the game against Borough, which, of course... It's kind of a derby, I guess. And then we'll watch the game against uh, Cardiff. Of course, jumping into games if uh, we need to. But firstly, we are going to be taking on 13th place Huddersfield, of course. Formerly a Premier League side as well. And this is the team we're going to be going with against Huddersfield. We have Hoffman in goal, Sirkin, Doyle, Sando and Huggins across the back with Mumba and Onya Dika in the middle. Diaku on the right, Lowe on the left, Greenwood as the cam behind Ross Stewart. Let's get into it. And here we go, Huddersfield getting us underway. It was a little bit of a negative and frustrating episode in the last one. I mean, we weren't beaten, but we weren't really picking up the wins that I would like to have picked up. Can we do that in this one? Stuart now. Send your man. He has sent Jamal low. Look at the pace on the lad now. Can he put a cross goal? Surely on a play, but now it's Diaku. Can he finish? Oh, what a chance that was. Needs to be taken. Playing the ball around well and been really patient with it. Come on, get it away, get it away. There we go. Go on. Can we break now? It is. Leon Diaku, look at the space he's got here. Keep going, just keep going, not stop, don't stop. Got bodies in the box. I can see plenty of movement in there. Ball in towards Ross Stewart. Oh, and it's headed away. They've tried to clear it here, but it is only as far as Jamal Lowe. On to Onya DK. He goes through it from distance. And it's an easy save for Nichols in goal. Come on. Oh, wide, wide, wide. Well played. Insert Greenwood. Go on, take him, take him, take him. Or send him. It's a great ball for Bolly Mumba. Bolly Mumba, can he get the goal? Yes, he can. It's 1-0. It's absolutely deserved. And it's Bolly Mumba, the Sunderland youngster, who gets himself on the score sheet. Get in. We've brought him back home. And he's now back amongst the goals. It's a great run. He's found the space. One touch. And then, bang, posting in. Get in. We absolutely deserve it. We've dominated so far in this game. And there's Bolly Mumba with his first goal for the club, I believe, since signing... Yes, it is his first goal in eight matches. Get in. And again, the shores well played. Give it into on your DK. And again, this is gorgeous football. Go on, Ross Stewart. Make your move. Towards Stewart. Headed. It's in. It's 2-0 just before half time. And Ross Stewart gets himself back amongst the goals as well. Get in. It is beautiful football. Lovely link up play between on your DK and Diaku. He digs it across goal there. Stewart, who rises highest, puts it into that near post. 2-0. And there goes the half-time whistle. I cannot complain whatsoever. Yes, we've missed quite a few simple chances that probably should have hit the back of the net, but we're going into half-time. 2-0 up, so I'm not going to complain. Now, I'm going to test something out for this second half. I brought off Greenwood. I've gone to a 4-4-2, pushing up the wingers. I've brought Scarlett on and put him alongside Ross Stewart. See if that does anything in this second half. Corner whipped in towards Doyle at the back post. Headed, and it's in! The keeper's parried it into his own net there. 3-0, and it's Doyle who gets his name on the score sheet as well now. It's risen between three Huddersfield players, and what is the keeper doing there? Absolutely horrendous goalkeeping. 3-0. Toffolo now, this left-hand side. Huggins has had him in his pocket for the majority, but he's trying to twist and turn him there. Is he going to get the cross in? Don't let him get the cross in. Don't let him get the cross in. Don't let him get the cross in. Oh, it's been turned far too easily. And again, good chance, and it's saved at the near post. It's their first attack, I think. Their first shot, should I say. Oh, come on, it's a good chance for them. Get the first, get the first off. Well in. They've decided to wake up over the last few moments. Get one to him, get one to him. What a challenge that is. Come on, Huggins. There we go. Well in, son. Can he get it away? Can he get it away? Yes, he can. Brilliantly done by Huggins. The whistle is surely going to go any minute now, but Huddersfield have actually been really good for the final sort of 15 minutes of the game. But other than that, they were utter garbage. We could have easily won the game 5, 6, 7 nil with some of the chances we made. But we start the episode off with a brilliant 3 nil win. Get in. But now we are going to be taking on third in the league, Blackburn. They actually forgot that they were quite uh, high up in the league, aren't they? But we are going to be watching this game, as I did say earlier on. We'll watch it and then jump in if we need to. And this is the team that we're going to go with for this one. As you can see, I've made quite a few changes, including Scarlett, who will be starting ahead of Ross Stewart, who was a little bit unfit, but I'll bring him on if we need to. But as I say, we will watch this one. Oh, there we go. The opener has gone to Blackburn Rovers, and it's Dak who has got it. A long-range strike. 1-0. Come on, I can see a man through the middle. Can he score? Surely it's in. It's 1-1, one, one, and Luke O'Neill gets the equaliser for us right at the stroke half time. Maybe. I don't need to jump in after all. I mean, if we're level with about 15, 20 minutes to go, I might give it a go, but... 
I'm not even too bothered if we get a draw here against Blackburn, who are of course doing really, really well so far this season. Come on, good chance again. Come key. Give it on and again, surely Stewart gets it. No, sorry, Greenwood gets it to make it 2-1. Come on, Stewart isn't even on the pitch. Don't know what I'm complaining about. <laughs> Come on. Oh, Greenwood has lost it in the middle there. We're in one of the keeper. Oh, Greenwood, no. Oh, thank God they've hit the side net in. Jesus, Greenwood put us 2-1 in front and nearly give away the chance to make it 2-2. Just blow the whistle, ref, please. Still five minutes to go. This is horrible. Come, ref. You know it's the right thing to do. Blow the whistle. Do it, sir. Blow the whistle. Or oh, can we make it 3-1 here? Good gooch. It's a save. Last chance of the game. And it's coming to go to us. Go on, that's a bit of time wasting. I don't mind. And there we go. 2-1. What a victory that is. Against Blackburn, of course, they were third in the league. And we still get away with three points. Get in. And now, after that game, we have received a transfer offer for Aidan O'Brien, who is on the transfer list. We can get between 5, 6, and 8, 20k. I'll accept 770. I think that's a fair enough offer. That's a fair enough deal. We'll accept that. But as you can see, we have leapfrogged Blackburn and we are third ourselves now, which is absolutely brilliant. And we're going to be taking on Southampton very shortly. But now we're going to be going away from home to St. Mary's, of course. It's another former Premier League side. They are eighth in the league at the moment. This is a squad we are going to be going with. Hoffman, Sirkin, Willis, Sanderson, Huggins, Onine, Onya, Dika, Diaku, Stuart Greenwood and... Dembele as well. So let's get into it. And away we go. Taking on another former Premier League club in Southampton. At St. Mary's. Lovely ball that. To Ross Stewart. Now it is. Oh, Nyan. He goes for goal. It's a good block though. And it's a foul I think. But we're going to play advantage. It was a poor challenge to be fair. Lucky we got away with that one. Well in on your DK. It was an absolute beast by the way. Does all the dirty work so well. Now here is Ross Stewart. It's in! It's 1-0! Ross Stewart is at it again! He's amongst the goals yet again! What an episode he's having! The Loch Ness Drogba is back in full effect. Come on! He's had a difficult few episodes, has Ross Stewart. But look at this. The turn is so annoying though. Look, he kind of starts facing the other way for some reason. For a split second. It's gone straight to the keeper, let's be honest. And he's just kind of ducked out of the way. Look at that, straight at him. What is he doing? Absolutely horrendous goalkeeping. It looks terrible, but we're not going to complain. That's four goals in nine for us, Stewart, which isn't amazing because both Scarlett and Stewart have been underperforming somewhat. But as long as we get at least one of the strikers firing, then I'll be happy. Oh no, the breaking down this left hand side with former son of the man, Vokins, actually, but he has given the ball away, and it is on your DK who's going to break forward for us. On your DK, onto Luke O'Neill. Can he maybe send Greenwood? Yes, he can. Greenwood on the turn. Out wide for Diaku. Can he get it across goal? Yes, he can. Strikes. Ross Stewart. And it's going to be a corner. Lovely football. Heading towards Ross Stewart again. Can he get his head in it? Yes, he can. He's in the bar. I nearly celebrated. Well, I did celebrate a bit too early there. And it is Huggins. Again, gets it towards the byline. Gets it across goal. Towards Stewart again. And he can't get there this time. God, what a better episode this has been. In terms of performances, we look so much better going forward today. Oh no, Sando is diving a bit too early there, but luckily he gets caught on his heel there. Otherwise it would have been one on one the keeper, and it is, I think it's Ivan Tony there, who's actually signed for Southampton. And that goes half time whistle, and again, I really can't complain. Every time we've come forward, or they've come forward, should I say, we've defended really, really well, and going forward ourselves, we've only got the one, but we look so, so good and so dangerous with every attack we make. It's Tosun now, that's a good turn from Tosun. He's up against Sanderson here. Can he stand up to him? Yes, he can. Come on, lads, now. Let's not let him get the shot away. Stop running away from him, man. Jesus Christ. Gets it to the byline. Southampton have come out flying in the second half. Really wanting it. Good chance, and it's a save by Huffman to deny Tony. Jesus Christ. It's actually Chamberlain as well. They have such a good little squad here. Southampton, that's yours. Welling Huggins again. Doesn't quite get the ball away just yet, though. That's yours, Willis. Well play, go on Diaku, go on Diaku, and away, that'll do, lovely stuff this, go on, come on Stuart, over the top, over the top, over the top, chase it, can he get there first, yes he can, it is Ross Stewart, big touch, it's still Ross Stewart, on the counter attack, will it be, it is, it's 2-0, straight to the other end, and it's Ross Stewart who gets yet another one, he is back again, in full effect, come on, the Loch Ness drug, but all it was one pump over the top, He's got the strength to shake off his man, the speed to get away from him, and drives it into the top left-hand corner. 2-0. Good chance now, Tony! Oh my god. Tony, he's just scored an absolute worldie. Straight after that goal from Ross Stewart, Tony just got the ball, picked up from distance, 
And absolutely smashed it into that top corner. Didn't expect it at all. Wow, you've got to give it to him. What a strike it is by the man. Oh, come on now. Gineppo down this left side. Huggins trying to stay with him. Pulls it back for Vokins. He gets the ball in. Headed away by Jordan Willis. He's been brilliant today coming in. Stepping in for Doyle, who was a little bit unfit. And that's a poor pass from Stewart. Come on, man. We've had a good game. Let's not ruin it now. Under 10 minutes to go. Come on, let's keep him at bay. Please, get it away. Get it away. Get it away. That'll do offside anyway. Armstrong now on the right side. Good chance for them again. Don't let the cross come in. Don't let the cross come in. It has been whipped in. Easily dealt with by Luke O'Neill. That'll do. Two minutes added on. We're holding on for dear life at the minute. Please, lads. Please, lads. Don't mess this one up now. Don't mess this one up. A minute left. Don't let the cross come in. That's your circuit. Come on, son. Get in. Well in, circuit. And it's going to be a corner, I think. It is. It's the final chance of the game. Get your head on this, lads. Get your head on this. We're not having it. Get it away. That's yours. That's yours, Sirkin. It's still in the box. Let it go. Let it go. Yes, there we are. Three points. A really hard fought three points. We've managed to hold on and come away with a win. Get in. And there is confirmation that O'Brien has been sold and we'll be getting 550k put into our tractor budget uh, in January. But as you can see, as we go into our next game, we're currently in second which is absolutely amazing. And we are going to be taking on Middlesbrough, who are in sixth. Of course, it's a derby. Some people say, you know, it's a derby with Sunderland and Middlesbrough. But for me, I just don't. I've said it many times on this on this channel. I don't really consider them a derby at all. I can see why people say it. But for me, I don't really give a shit about Borough, if I'm being completely honest with you. And this is the lineup we're going to go in with against Borough. We have Hoffman and Gold, Sirkin, Doyle, Sando and Huggins on your Dika with 9 Embo will be starting ahead of Greenwood today. And we have Dembele starting over low. Diaco on the right side, of course, the Loch Ness drop, but is up top after a fantastic display last time out. If you look, Duncan Watmore is actually starting as their sole striker for Middlesbrough. And of course, former Sunderland man, uh, McNair as well in the middle. But this will be our lineup. Can we get another win in this episode? Let's get into it. And here we are at the Riverside, the best defensive teams in the league. We have conceded only 10 goals, which is so so good really happy with the way things are going so far this season we've got a couple of ups and downs here and there but this episode we seem to be absolutely smashing it defending well when we need to and scoring when we need to as well picking up as many points as humanly possible of course and Ross Stewart the Loch Ness Drogba will kick us off come on lads Brown down the left don't let the cross come in that's yours Sir King. that's yours well played go on Embo turn your man get it away oh it's a poor clearance it's straight back to Borough so to pin us back a little bit, but it's a good interception. Can we now get a break on maybe? Flick it on again. Turn. That's it, that's it. I can see Deaku, and it's a poor pass. It's a really poor start to this game, you know. Really poor. Oh, nine, and again on to Sirkin. Driving forward. Help him out, man. It is Sirkin still. Skips inside. Plays into Stewart. Can he dig one out? Yes, he does, and it's over the bar. It's our first shot of the game. Well played there by Sanderson. Can he maybe send his man over the top? It is towards Stewart with the header. I don't know why he's headed it. I've wanted him to volley it and he's not let it drop. Half time, nil nil. And it's been an absolutely terrible game to be fair. I think they've had maybe one chance. We've had one chance as well. Other than that, we're going forward, losing the ball. Then they go forward, lose the ball. That's pretty much the story of the half. We need to change things up maybe in the second if we want to get another three points in this episode. Good chance now for them on the edge. What a save that is. I think that was Paddy Manair there. Former Sunderland man. And now they've still got the ball in the box. Get it away. And there we are. And look who it is. Here he's got himself a goal. Oh dear. It's Duncan Watmore. Who smashed it into the roof of the goal. 1-0 to Borough. Oh, he's done Huggins there far too easily. Puts it across. It's a good finish. But still... Early on in the second half, definitely not what we needed. I am going to bring on Scarlett, Lowe and Mumba as well. All three of them. I'm going to change to a 4-4-2 as well. Put Stewart up alongside Scarlett. Hopefully get them behind that defence. I can see Scarlett making a move now as well. Scarlett straight away on the turn. It is Scarlett. Gone for goal himself. It's in. It's 1-1. It's an absolute beauty from Scarlett. He's literally just come on the pitch and he's scored an absolute rocket. Get in, son. Did not expect that to go in whatsoever. It was Jamal Lowe one, from one sub to another. Takes a touch, takes it away from his man. I just lashed at it out of frustration. I think the keeper may have got a touch. But it's 1-1. Get in. Mumba on to Onyedike. Can he spread the play for Huggins? Yes, he can. Still Huggins. Knock it on. 
So Ross Stewart, help him out, help him out. Back out wide for his man. And it is Diaku. Tries to find Scarlett and it's blocked. What a chance. Let's get, let's get the first. Oh no, it's a poor, poor challenge. We've just absolutely wiped Duncan Watmore. That should have been a sending off. He's completely missed the ball. Oh no, here we go again. It's a good chance of broke through and it's a save by Hoffman. Thank God. Spread the play. I can see Sirkin making a move. That's a lovely ball as well. Can we maybe send it again? It's a good ball. It's Jamal Lowe. Can he finish? Jamal Lowe gets in. It's 2-1. It's absolutely against the run of play. But it's another substitute who gets it. Turns it around in the derby. Get in. <laughs> it's a great ball through to Jamal Lowe. And the strike is absolutely clinical as well. Five minutes to go. And it looks like we're going to be leaving the Riverside with all three points. Come on. Last chance saloon now for... Borra, good challenge again by Sanderson. Get it away, no messing around with it, no messing around with it. Just get it away, get it away, get it away. That'll do. Flick it out if you can. Well in, Stuart. That'll do. Blow the whistle, ref. Blow the whistle. Oh, if you can send Stuart, he has done. It is Stuart now. It's going alone. It's a challenge on him. Oh, shit, I did not mean to do that. Just blow the whistle, ref. No, don't send him off. Don't send him off. Last kick of the game. Don't send him off, ref, please. No, ref, leave him alone. He's going to send him off. I don't think he has done. He's booked him, that'll do. I'll take a booking, Jesus Christ. Blow the whistle. Blow the whistle. Come on, yes, there we go. We've done it again. Turning the game around to get all three points. This has been the perfect episode. It really has been the perfect episode. And that win sees us third in the table, but now we are going to be simulating this game against Cardiff, the last game of the episode. I did say I was going to watch this one as well. But I am going to quick sim this one. And we are going to go largely second string for this one against Cardiff. Can we end the episode with another victory? Yes, we can. 2-1. And it is Barker who gets an 89th minute strike that gives us all three points. This has been an insane episode. It really has. Everything has gone our way. It's so unlikely, isn't it? It's so unlikely. This never happens. So just take it. It's a Sunday. It's a lovely Sunday. Everything's going our way. Good vibes. Only good vibes here. So this is how the league table looks at the end of the episode. And look at that. We're in the top two. We continue like this. We're going straight up automatically to the Premier League. But I'm not going to speak too early, you know. We go through phases of not being able to win for a long streak of games. I'm very much a streaky player when it comes to FIFA. But either way, we'll take it as it comes. We're second in the league. Crystal Palace, top of the pile, of course. West Brom in third. QPR in fourth. Brentford in fifth. And Blackburn in sixth. Now, the bottom... We do have Chef Wednesday, Ipswich and Barnsley as well. So that'll be it, guys. If you have enjoyed this episode, please hit the like button for me. It'd be massively, massively appreciated. And subscribe to the channel if you're not already to become a fully-fledged member of the Sony Army. But for now, you take care. Stay jamming. <laughs>